Hello, welcome to Senti One's User Guide. In this video, you will learn everything you need to know to start using social listening in your everyday work. Whether you're responsible in your company for marketing, communication, product management, or public relations, we will make sure to present you all the benefits of effective online monitoring. But first, let's clarify what is online monitoring. It is the process of monitoring social media channels, forums, blogs, websites, and news sites for mentions of your brand, competitors, product, and other keywords. Social listening gives brands an opportunity to track, analyze, and respond to the online conversations about them. With Senti1, you can monitor all online conversations comments and posts available in public domains such as social media, forums, news sites and blogs. It allows you to examine who, when and where talks about your brand, your competition or a specific social trend. This way you can also discover customer insights, their opinions, needs and requests. Senti1 can be a powerful tool to examine your brand performance, conduct competitor analysis, or run market research. All this information can be monitored in real time or up to three years ago. And the essence of Senti1 is provided by sentiment analysis and automatically generated graphs and charts. Now, let's walk you through the platform and show you a step by step process to effective online monitoring. Let's get started. In this chapter, you will learn how to sign into Senti1, where Senti1 data comes from, and how to authorize social media channels. Online listening tools are only effective if they cover a variety of online sources, such as social media, news sites, blogs, forums, and portals. By accessing APIs of those domains, Senti1 crawlers analyze millions of publicly accessible information, articles, blog posts, comments, and posts. On average, our algorithms can access and analyze over 42 million data points every day. Then the social data is converted into insights, graphs, charts, and analysis. You can access it through Senti1 portal in the form of an online dashboard, analysis widgets, or automatically generated reports. Here is a general overview of the Senti1 platform. On the left hand side, you can see the menu of the key features the project list, the mentions view, analysis, alerts, and reports. The default view is the list of your projects that you have set up. They can be either about your brand or product, your social media profiles, competitors, or specific online trends. Before we start setting up your first project, we need to go to the account authorization part. So you can connect your social media platforms in order to unlock more data and mentions. This step is crucial in order to access any data from Facebook and Instagram, even if you don't want to monitor your own social channels at all. In order to do this, click the accounts button on the menu on the left. Then you will see a list of social media accounts that you can authorize, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and others. Click on the social media icon, accept the pop-up window, and follow the steps required to authorize your account. You can repeat this process with all your other social media platforms that you consider important for future online monitoring. Now, as your account is ready, let's set up some projects and explore those online conversations. Brand monitoring. In this chapter, you'll learn how to set up projects to monitor your brand and how to differentiate the brand Apple from Apple's and also tips and tricks on finding relevant mentions and insights. In order to navigate through all the content online, posts, comments, and articles, 
we need to create projects with the right keywords that will narrow down our search. Let's go into the Projects tab. Now you'll see a list of all your projects that you've created so far. If you want to start a new project, click the Create button. The system will then offer you three setup options. You can choose from Brand, Social Profiles and Advanced Search Options. First, let's take a look at Brand Analysis in detail. This is the most frequently used type of project. If you want to have a quick idea how a specific term is performing online, for example, Apple, Samsung, Home Office, or online banking, then select Brand Monitoring. First of all, you need a topic you want to research and analyze. Let's say I want to know what customers think about Apple products in English speaking markets. As you can see, we can search the system in more than 70 languages. Enter the word iPhone in the keyword field and press enter. The system ignores special characters, however, it is worth thinking about misspelled versions of this keyword or slang words. In this case, let's add Apple Phone as well. If you add Apple Phone in quotation marks, the system will only look for phrases where the word Apple and the word Phone appear next to each other. However, if you type the phrase Apple Phone without quotation marks, then the system will be looking for phrases where both words appear, but not necessarily close to each other. This means you may get results about any random phone or Apple's fruits. As you type each new word, the system will indicate here how many new mentions were added to your results. The preview on the right side will allow you to see if the results are relevant based on the keywords you entered. If not, there are several ways we can get rid of irrelevant results. Let's say you don't want other Apple products to get involved in this search. So remove the following words in this field. MacBook, iMac, iPad, iPod. Also, you don't want to get results with the fruit Apple mentioned. So let's remove the following words as well. Diet, healthy, organic, smoothie, and fruit. I use the asterisk at the end of the word fruit to exclude all the words that contain the word fruit. For example, it will automatically remove fruity and fruits. If you don't want to exclude results based on keywords alone, you have several other options. In the upper right corner of each mention, you will find an exclude button. By clicking on this, you will see three options. To exclude all results from this author, to exclude only this one mention, or to exclude the entire domain. In this case, we would remove all Twitter data from this research. Then you will see that there is a separate field to track Instagram hashtags. Due to Instagram data policies, you can only monitor up to 30 hashtags. And that is only if you've authorized your Instagram account on the Sentuan platform. Please note that integration is obligatory in order to see the results. In order to track more hashtags, you can authorize another Instagram business account to double the number of available hashtags. If you feel you are ready to set up, click Continue. Let's name our project. I will call this project iPhone. Then you have a choice of creating an analysis and setting up daily summary alerts via email. I would recommend to always enable the analysis option and enable alerts option only if this project is crucial for your day-to-day -day work. For example, if you want to receive information where your brand was mentioned online in the last 24 hours on a daily basis, you can do this via email. Click the Save Project button to create the projects. 
There we go. We made our first project. Now the system navigates us to the mentions view, where we can look at the results of our search. In this chapter, you will learn how to set up a project to monitor your social media profiles, which types of social media can be monitored and analyzed, and how to add hashtags and keywords to boost your results. In order to navigate through all the online content, such as posts, comments, and articles, we need to create projects with the right keywords that will narrow our search. Let's go into the Projects tab. Now you can see a list of all projects you have created so far. If you want to start a new project, click the Create button. The system will then offer you three setup options. You can choose from Brand, Social Profiles, and Advanced Search Options. If you want to use social listening to monitor social media sites, select the Social Profiles option. Why would you want to monitor social sites? It allows you to monitor, track, and analyze the data from your own social media channels like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. As a result, you can see all your social activities in one place. You can analyze all the mentions and comments. And finally, the Senti1 platform will generate statistics and reports for you. In addition to your own pages, of course, you can track other brands or even your competitors. In this research, let's select Coca-Cola as an example. Copy the URL of the page you want to monitor, then paste it into the fields provided. Here you can add an unlimited number of social pages to your search. You can also assign to your project extra hashtags and keywords that you might find interesting. However, they will apply not only to social media pages, but to all online searches, websites, forums, blogs, and articles. Please also remember to select the right language. Click on the icon on the top and select languages applicable to your project. When you are done, click continue and name your project. Then you have a choice of creating an analysis and setting up daily summary alerts via email. I would recommend to always enable the analysis option and enable the alerts option only if this project is crucial for your everyday work. For example, if you want to receive information where your brand was mentioned online in the last 24 hours on a daily basis via email, click the Save Project button to create the project. And now our project is ready. You can now monitor all the posts from Coca-Cola's embedded social media profiles. You can also view the list of mentions and extract valuable insights through the auto-generated analysis. Mentions view. In this chapter, you'll learn how to filter out mentions about your project, how to analyze mentions quick and easy, how to filter, export, and more. First, let's explain what is a mention. A mention is any online public post, comment, or article that contains keywords that you've set up in the project configuration step. Let's have a look at the mentions view. Once you log into Senti1 and select one of your projects, the system will automatically direct you to the mentions view. If you wish to change the project, you can use the drop down menu at the top where you will have a list of all your projects. In the mentions view, you can see 
all of the online mentions found by the Centi1 system. Here you can see the total number of mentions in this project. The default time frame is the last 30 days. However, if you wish to change the date settings, you just need to click here and choose the predefined criteria or manually set up the time period that you wish to monitor. Then the system will reload the data. By default, mentions are organized and displayed by influence score. By clicking on this drop down menu, you can change it to newest, showing the newest mentions first, oldest, showing the oldest mentions first, or filtered by the influence score, which means that the most popular mention will appear at the top. Influence score is a result of Centiwan's own algorithm that calculates the popularity of a mention. It takes into account the number of shares, likes, comments, and how many people are following that particular author or page. Now let's look at the mention itself. First, you can see on what platform this mention appeared and who published it. If the author is a private individual, then due to GDPR policies, Senti1 will display no author data. If you click on the mention, you'll be directed to the source of this mention. Next, you can see the date and time of the publication down to the minutes. In the mention itself, the very first part of the text displays the content of the mention, and below you will see the context of the discussion. For example, whether it was a comment in a thread, a share, or a single post. Senti1 automatically categorizes mentions into sentiment, positive, neutral, or negative. In rare instances, when the algorithm was mistaken and you feel that given mention should be categorized differently, you can adjust it manually. Next, to the sentiment category. You can also see gender category, whether the author was male or female. This mention is taken directly from social media profiles of the authors. Moreover, if you are doing multilingual searches, the system will translate each mention into the language of your choice. Another option is to remove the mention from the list by clicking this icon in the upper right corner. Uh, please note, it will only remove mentions from the displayed list, not from the internet. Now you know everything about the structure of the mention. Let's go to the filter options in the right panel. This panel comes in handy whenever you want to conduct your own analysis and narrow down your search. Here you can filter out mentions by sentiment, source category, or type of mention. Let's try selecting all neutral mentions. Only from Facebook, but only individual posts, not comments. The system will then reload the data according to those filters. If you want to search for specific words in your mention, you can enter them in this field. For example, we can select how many posts in this Coca-Cola project also mention the word Pepsi. Also, you can narrow your search by selecting a specific author or website domain. We will cover tags and tagging options in another part of the workshop. You can also filter mentions by gender and turn on the mentions that were previously ignored. Here at the bottom, you also have the availability to download all the mentions in a CSV or Excel format. The last thing you need to learn about the mentions view is the reset option. When you scroll to the top, you can click here in order to reset all of our filters. Standard analysis. In this chapter, you'll learn how to read and analyze key graphs and charts in the analysis view, which widgets to choose to analyze campaign performance, discover trends or measure brand awareness, how to customize and share your dashboard. 
To start, let's go to the Analysis menu and find the project you want to analyze and click on it. The default view is an automatically created so-called standard analysis in which the system displays the most important widgets and graphs. You can add more graphs by clicking on the Customize button, where you can add more metrics, for example, results, sources, sentiment, gender, tags, reach, and engagement metrics. These metrics will be discussed in detail in the later part of this user guide. You can adjust the position of the graphs by dragging them anywhere in the analysis view. You can delete the widgets from the analysis by clicking on the trash bin icon. After you make some adjustments, like adding more graphs and charts to the analysis, click on the Save button. Next to the Customize button, you can see the Share button. By clicking on it, you can share your analysis in the form of an interactive online dashboard and send it to anyone, even to those who do not have access to the Sendy1 platform. Now you can choose the time frame you wish to analyze. Choose predefined periods. Last 24 hours, last 7 days, 30 days, 3 months, 12 months, or a custom time frame which you choose by clicking on the Customize button. If you want to make any adjustments about which data is displayed in the charts, you can find the settings of the full analysis over here. Now let's look at the key graphs. In the upper right corner of each graph, you can find two buttons. The first one allows you to download the widget in various data or image formats – SVG, PNG, CSV, and Excel file formats. The second button allows you to change the settings of each widget – for example, project, type of sentiment, type of mentions, and more. The very first graph is Mentions in Time. It shows the time distribution of online discussions. If you hover over it, you can see how many mentions appeared on that project on certain days. Each graph is interactive, which means you can click here, the system will show the mentions for that day in order of importance and influence score. It will even show if the mentions were positive or negative, and what were the most frequently used words on that day. This feature allows us to map very quickly what were the top themes or trends during a given time period. If you want to dig further into the data, you simply need to click the All Mentions button, and you'll be navigated to the previously discussed Mentions menu automatically. Or you can exit the preview by clicking on the Close button, X. The next widget is the result summary. It's a table that shows the total number of mentions on the topic during a given time frame, the percentage change in number of mentions comparing to previous time periods, a summary of positive and negative mentions, and finally you can also check sources of mentions, such as if they are social media, forums, or websites. The next two widgets include metrics about reach. Reach refers to an estimation of a mention's popularity, such as how many times it was seen, shared, and engaged with. Mentions in time by reach. This graph shows the reach of mentions that were published on a given day. The reach summary table displays the total reach generated by all mentions, divided by sentiment and categorized by different sources. The next widget is the Mentions in Time by Sentiment widget that shows two metrics on one graph, Mentions over time and their sentiment. It's extremely useful when analyzing how a given topic and emotions around it are evolving over time. Next to it you can find the Sentiment Share pie chart, which illustrates the ratio between positive, neutral, and negative mentions. If you click on the legend here, 
you can remove the neutral mentions and only compare positive and negative ones. Another feature, Top Sources Widget, will help you discover where exactly the biggest chunks of discussions happened. Moreover, if you want to rank websites only, just filter out all the type of sources in the settings. The Sources Share pie chart breaks down all types of sources – social media, websites, forums – and shows where the topic was discussed the most. The Top Days of the Week function shows when users, on average, talk the most about a given topic. The Top Hours of the Day widget shows similar information but broken down into hours of the day. The Mentions in Time by Gender chart shows you how many mentions were published by men and women each day. The Gender Share pie chart shows the distribution of female and male authors. In the Engagement Summary table, the system summarizes the types and number of interactions on each social media platform, how many likes, shares and comments there were generated. In the next chart, Mentions and Time by Source shows you how many mentions appeared on each source on a given day. It also helps you detect on which platform a topic appeared first. And here comes the Top Authors list. Cinti1 algorithms rank authors and influencers based on their activity and potential reach on a given topic. You can also view this list broken down by source if you wish to. Next you can see the Brand Health Index. It is a widget that we created at Cinti1 to quickly show what is the overall sentiment towards a given topic, brand or trend. The widget calculates the ratio between positive and negative discussions and gives a result from 0 to 1. The closer to 1, the better the overall sentiment. Now let's have a look at the Keyword Cloud. This feature is extremely useful when you want to understand the overall context of discussions. It will display the most frequently used words in a discussion on a given topic. The bigger the word, the higher its frequency. Words in green are categorized as a positive sentiment, whereas those in red represent a negative sentiment. By clicking on a word, you can choose from two options. You can either display the mentions in the preview that includes that specific word, or you can form a new word cloud from the mentions where this particular word appeared. If you want to search for positive or only negative words, you can easily do that in the widget settings. The image gallery shows random pictures that were published in mentions and changes the tiles to have a good visual overview on the analyzed topic. Finally, Cinti1 shows the top hashtags that appeared in the mentions most frequently. This brings us to the end of the standard analysis. Remember to play around with the widgets, click on them, download data, and analyze mentions. Alerts. In this chapter, you will learn when and how to set up alert notifications. The alerts function allows you to set up email notifications whenever someone mentions your topic online. Cinti1 can send you regular or critical alerts if a certain project gets new mentions. This is particularly useful if you want to monitor your brand reputation more closely, avoid PR crisis, or monitor the interest of newly launched products or services. By default, daily alerts are set up when you create any project. However, you can add new alerts anytime. To do so, click the Alerts icon on the left menu. Then click Create. Then you can choose from several options. You can set whether you want to be alerted about any mention, only negative mentions, or only positive ones. You can also select specific types of mentions. Statements stand for user comments and posts, or you can choose articles only for press monitoring. Then you can choose which project the notification applies to, and finally, who will be the recipient of the alert notification. 
Finally, you need to set up the minimal number of mentions to trigger an alert. If you wish to be notified about every single mention, set up one. If you want to see bulk notifications, set up 10, and you will be sent an email if at least 10 mentions appear online within the last 24 hours. If you toggle the daily slider, you will receive email notifications with a list of mentions every single day on a set hour. Click Save in order to activate your newly created alert notification. Remember that you can set up multiple alerts per project and per account as well. If later you want to delete your alert, click on this trash bin button. Or if you want to modify it, click on the pencil icon. Reports. In this chapter, you will learn how to generate automated reports in PDF and PowerPoint, overview the types of reports, report setup and configuration. Sometimes, analyzing all mentions and online discussions can be time consuming. That's why we've created automated reports that allow you to quickly get an idea how your projects are performing, what's the overall perception, what are the sample mentions and more. In order to set up such reports, click on the Report button in the menu and click Create. Now you'll see three different report templates. There's the Brand Awareness Report that contains all the important graphs and charts that summarize the perception of any brand. The Comparative Report that allows you to compare two or more projects against each other. This report is particularly useful when you want to compare key market players, political candidates, or polarizing topics. Finally, there's the results report. This will show you a list of mentions that will represent the general opinion of the audience. It's particularly useful when conducting qualitative research or press monitoring. Let's choose one template and create a sample report. First, you need to decide whether it is a one-off report or a report that you'd like to receive on a regular basis. If you select Periodical, then you can receive this report in your inbox on a daily, weekly or monthly basis. For presentation purposes, let's select one report and click Once. Then you'll see a window with the report set up. Here's when you need to decide on the reports, name, projects that will be included in the report, the time range, and select specific widgets that you like to include in the report. You can customize the report by choosing which charts and graphs you want to include, or you can simply select Select All. Then you can select whether you want to include a list of sample mentions that you will see real life representation of your analysis and online opinions. With this checkbox, you can decide if you want to display or hide those pages where there would be no data to show. Finally, you can also change the report language, date format, and add a logo on the cover page. Now the setup is done, simply click Generate and wait a few seconds for the system to produce your report. If you click on the report card here, Senti1 will open your report in a new tab. As you can see, you can also download it in a PDF or PowerPoint format. Or you can delete it by clicking on the trash bin button. On a final note, there is no limit on the number of reports you can generate. So you can create as many as you wish to, analyze your brand, your competition, online trends, and set automatic reports to be sent to your inbox every week.